Have you ever wondered how you could create something like this? This? Or even this? I'm Jad, and today we're exploring software development kits, or SDKs for short. And trust me, these are the keys that can take your XR projects from being ordinary to extraordinary. And here's something you need to know. When you're starting your XR project, choosing the right SDK can be a game changer. Now this is something that might seem obvious to some, but it's a step that's often rushed or overlooked. No need to worry, because in this video, I'll walk you through the ultimate guide to selecting the ideal SDK for you. You'll learn about what an SDK is, why it's essential when starting your ARVR projects, we'll look at what to consider when you're choosing your SDK, and we'll learn about some of the relevant ones that you can start creating your XR projects with today. And stick around to the end, because I made a handy decision tree that will help you navigate your SDK choosing journey. Let's dive in. So what's an SDK? SDK stands for Software Development Kit. It's basically a toolbox that developers use to create software applications. In the context of XR development, you can think of it as a shortcut to create AR and VR projects without starting from scratch. It will provide you with ready to use tools and functionalities that will make your life easier. So you can focus on designing and crafting your experience rather than focusing on the really technical aspects like reading sensor information from your device. The choice you make directly impacts your project's quality, efficiency, and the amazing things that you'll be able to do. So how do you find the one that's just right for you? First, you wanna make sure the SDK supports the platforms you're targeting. For example, the SDK would need to support iOS if you're building for specifically Apple devices. Next up, you can explore the features and functionalities that the SDK offers. Does it have everything you need to be able to bring your vision to life? Of course, don't forget about documentation and support. This is a really important aspect of an SDK. Having a helpful community and resources can be a night and day difference when you're trying to troubleshoot your development hiccups. Last but not least, performance optimization and ease of use. If the project isn't running well and if you can't develop easily with the SDK, then you might want to consider a different one. Now with the checklist out of the way, you might ask, but what are the SDKs that we're considering? Our focus here is developing extended reality experiences, whether it's AR or VR within Unity Game Engine. So I've compiled a list of some relevant ones as of today. For a focus on AR development, we have Unity AR Foundation, Vuforia, Magic Leap SDK, and Lightship ARDK by Niantic. For a focus on AR and VR, we have Microsoft Mixed Reality SDK, otherwise known as MRTK, and Vivewave SDK. And for VR development, we have Meta Interaction SDK and Unity XR Interaction Toolkit, otherwise known as XRITK. So let's take a look at the characteristics of each one, starting with the AR-focused SDKs and then the VR-focused ones. First, we have Unity AR Foundation, which is probably the most versatile SDK for creating AR apps working for both iOS and Android devices. This SDK is better documented than most other options we'll look at, but it's not the best if you're looking for depth occlusion or perfect object tracking. Next is Vuforia, which has one of the best image recognition and tracking capabilities among the SDKs, and it includes curved surface tracking. It supports a wide range of devices, it's easy to use, but it requires you to pay license fees if you're planning to commercialize your product. Lightship ARDK is a great choice if you're looking to represent your environment realistically with the best depth occlusion and great object recognition. It supports multi-user sessions, gets constantly updated, but it's a bit more complex to use and has less documentation than other options. Lastly, on the AR side, we have Magic Leap SDK, which will allow you to develop for the most powerful AR slash mixed reality glasses in the market. It supports hand tracking, gesture recognition, as well as audio spatialization. But as you might have guessed, it's limited to Magic Leap devices only. Now let's take a look at the VR SDKs. First off, we have Meta Interaction SDK, also known as Oculus Interaction SDK, which allows to develop for the most widely used VR headsets around the world. It has one of, if not the best, best hand tracking and extensive options for interaction, but it's limited to use with meta hardware only. Secondly, we have Unity XR Interaction Toolkit, or XRITK for short. It's the most versatile and well-documented VR development toolkit that you'll find, with a great community for support. It does, however, require a bit more technical expertise to use. Next up is Microsoft's Mixed Reality SDK, or MRTK. It's a good choice if you're looking for modularity in your development, as not only does it allow you to download and use just the components you deem needed, but it also gives you the ability to swap core components out. Its usage differs a bit from Unity standard conventions, so it may 
confused some developers. Last but not least, we have Vivewave SDK, which focuses on cross-platform standalone VR. It includes a high performance mode and needs minimal customization to get a functional product. Now that we have a bit of a clear understanding of what each SDK offers and what steps you could take to narrow down your options, we've arrived at the part that we've all been waiting for, which is the decision tree. This will act as your roadmap to finding and choosing the perfect SDK tailored for your needs. Of course, don't just take its recommendation blindly as your final decision, but rather use this as a way to narrow down your priorities and to get an idea of where to start first. So head over to the link below and try it for yourself and let us know if you have any suggestions for potential ways we can improve this to make it better for all of us. Cool, now you're armed with some knowledge to make informed decisions about your next AR slash VR project. Remember, SDKs will save you time, they'll boost your creativity and they'll bring your vision to life. So whether you're looking to augment your worlds or creating virtual experiences, the right SDK is your partner in crime. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, a like would be much appreciated. And if you're looking for more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel to keep posted. On another note, if you can't wait to start your next immersive experience, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. I'm Jad from Immersive Insiders and I'll see you next time. Peace.